If you have a TV that only has, let's say, one or two HDMI ports, then you need an HDMI switch. Now, to be honest with you, I have been through about four different HDMI switches over the years because I've never been very happy with the ones I've had. The, some of the older models didn't have remotes. And then when models that came along did have remotes, you needed to have this dongle thing that you had to string up and it always seemed to be so flimsy it fell off. Um, and there's a variety of other things I didn't like about some of them. When they're too small, they're not useful. When they're too big, they're not useful. This one's a good size. This here has just the right width to put all four ports here. I've had other models where you had ports on all sides. You couldn't tell the info, input from the output. This one's very simple. Four ports in the back. So obviously you could tell where the four inputs are. The output is on the opposite. Well, not the opposite. It's on an its own side so you don't mix up what the input with the output which is definitely important to me because again I've been through other models where they have ports on three of the four sides and then you could hardly tell which is the inputs and which is the outputs. It also has a port next to it over here for power. Uh, there's not enough power coming out of the HDMI to power this and that's because this isn't just a simple HDMI switch. This is uh, this has some uh, intelligence inside of it and I'll get into that in a minute. So on the surface again it's a nice size and it handles 4K. But to be honest with you, I don't have a 4K TV, so I didn't test that functionality. I'm sure it works well. But what did attract me to this is two things. Uh, first of all, it has a great remote, and second of all, it has a picture-in-picture -picture function, which I'd never seen before in an HDMI switch. I mean, I've seen all sorts of HDMI switches, never seen one with a picture-in-picture -picture function, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. So the remote, well, first of all, let's go back to the uh, unit itself. If you don't want or want to find the remote if you drop it in your couch or something you can change the ports easily with a switch in the front and and that just goes one to two to three to four and then back to one and two three four so that's a simple process uh, but when you use the remote you have a direct access which is to say at the top there are four buttons it's technically five but there's four buttons you can go from one to two to three to four in one shot so if you want to, if you know that your tv's on one and your playstation's on two and your Apple TVs on three, you could just jump to three, jump to two, jump to one, etc. The fifth button up there is a go back button. So if you were on one and you want to jump directly to three, if that was the last thing you did, you just kind of do that and then you don't have to remember what number it was on. So if you know you were just looking at something but you forgot what number it was on and you just want to go back to it, you just hit this button, it takes you back to the last thing you're watching. And then at the bottom, what you have are the picture-in-picture -picture buttons. There's a, a button for uh, turning the picture-in-picture -picture on. Then there's another one to select which of the inputs, and basically uh, that's how it works. So when you hit the picture-in-picture -picture button, um, you could see the other ports. So that's an even easier thing because if you do have a whole bunch of gadgets on there and you forget what numbers there are, or if for whatever reason you just simply want to use this not just as a switch, but let's say you want to monitor a ball game in the corner of the screen uh, and your TV doesn't have a function like that, well, bam, there you are. You have that functionality built into this. So you could be playing your PlayStation game or whatever it is you might want to do. And you could keep a picture-in-picture -picture function in there. It is kind of small, but at least you could see it. And then you can jump to that by hitting the select button. And that, to me, is an awesome feature. I tried it out. Um, uh, with uh, several different devices and it was real simple and real easy to use and I never would have thought something like that would be in a HDMI switch. So this is an awesome item. I love it. Um, hopefully you found this review helpful. Uh, you may have some questions. Feel free to leave a comment and thanks for watching.